In this video, we're going to talk about how to install HD texture packs into the Xbox Series X and S version of Dolphin. Alright, so I've been trying to get HD texture packs to work on the Xbox version of RetroArch for a bit now, but it turns out that I've never actually tried using them with the latest nightly builds. And that seems to be the magic bullet to make everything work. HD texture packs do not work under the version of Dolphin that has come included with most versions of RetroArch for Xbox Series X and S. But after finally giving it some time and dedication to figuring out what was going on, the latest nightly build of Dolphin for RetroArch does work with HD texture packs. So this is a bit more involved. We are going to add in a separate Dolphin core to handle HD texture packs just because... This version of Dolphin isn't that stable, it can have some problems. If you're lucky, it won't mess up your controls. If you're trying to use this for Wii stuff, don't. It's only good for games that don't need the Wiimote, because again, the Wiimote stuff is all taken out in the latest nightly builds that's only available in the one that comes pre-installed in 1.9.9. But yeah, this is the process. Let's jump in. Alright, so first things first, make sure that you have RetroArch installed on your Xbox Series X and S. This guide is a continuation of a continuation, so my goodness, I do hope you have installed RetroArch. If not, pay special attention to the expanding dev mode storage section, because you will want space for this for your HD texture packs. And also, pay attention to the advanced uh, RetroArch and dev mode setup guide here at the end, because that will show you how to access your Xbox's internal SSD, which we need to add in the new nightly version of Dolphin, and our HD texture packs. So pay special attention to this part. Next, I'd make sure to go through and configure just your standard Dolphin core. All the settings that you set in that are going to apply to this nightly core as well, so it's easier just to get it set up first before trying to mess with HD texture pack stuff in my opinion. I know this video says it's processing, but by the time you're watching this video, it will be available, link in the description, for both of these. Alright, next we need to download our nightly Dolphin core. I have uploaded it to my Dropbox and I named it nightly dolphin underscore libretro.dll. So we just need to get this downloaded, so link will be in the description below as always. So once you have the nightly dolphin core downloaded, just get it extracted. It is in zip format, so you should be able to do this with just about anything. I'm just going to tell it to extract here. And now I am left with nightly dolphin underscore libretro.dll. And that is our nightly dolphin core that we are going to be using for HD texture packs. So now, just gain access to your Xbox's internal SSD, so make sure the Xbox is turned on and in dev mode. And then we can access our development files folder. If you made a file share, it's as easy as opening it. If not, you can put the URL in up here, however you prefer to do it. I like my network share because it's easy. Then we just need to go into Windows apps, find our RetroArch folder, and we're going to go into the cores folder and drag our nightly Dolphin core right on in. Now, we named it Nightly Dolphin so it doesn't interfere with the standard version of Dolphin because we want that standard version of Dolphin to be the default for all of our Wii stuff, all of our GameCube stuff that we are not using with HD texture packs because it's just a little bit more reliable. But there we go, Nightly Dolphin Libretro. But with the core in place, we just need to get some HD texture packs for our games that we want to use. So in my example, I'm going to be using the Star Wars Rogue Leader HD Texture Pack from my buddy General Han Solo. For anyone that is new to my channel and hasn't been here for the last little bit, this is actually what got me started making YouTube content was this HD Texture Pack, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an important one to me. But, you just go in, get it downloaded, download any HD Texture Packs you want, and once you have an HD Texture Pack downloaded, they might be compressed, they might not. It really depends on the HD Texture Pack's author, how they pack these up. But for my Rogue Leader one here, for example, it's in 7-zip format, so I'm just going to tell it to extract to here, this folder. And then I need to make sure that this Texture Pack is in the right folder format. So HD Texture Packs need to be labeled as their game ID. So Rogue Leader's game ID is GSWE64 for NTSC versions of the game. And then inside can be whatever. But the base folder does need to be the game code. So there we go. Game code subfolders that contain all of the extra texture pack stuff. So again, the main folder needs to be the game code. And inside of it, just the folders that contain the texture pack stuff. Once you're sure that you have your texture packs ready to go, go back over to your Xbox's SSD, 
I left it open to the course page that we were on just a minute ago. I'm going to tell it to go up a level. And now we need to find our saves folder. So saves, user folder. This is your dolphin saves folder. This is where everything we're going to do here goes. So go into it, find the folder that says load, textures, and drag your HD texture pack right on in. And once you have those all copied over, we can move over to the Xbox side of things. Now on the Xbox, get booted into RetroArch. All right, once RetroArch is booted up, if you already had GameCube stuff set up, go ahead and get booted into any of the games that you got HD texture packs for. I just want to show you a quick demonstration here of why we need this latest nightly core. So for my example, I was doing Rogue Leader. So I'm just going to tell it to run. And once your game is loaded up, go ahead and go into your quick menu. Navigate down to options and uh, turn on load custom textures. And once that's done, go ahead and you can then close the content. And then try to reload it and see if your textures load. And hey, look at that. Just like every time I've tried to load up HD texture packs in this version of Dolphin, it did literally nothing. Go figure. All right, all right. Demonstrations aside, let's go ahead and make this work. So I'm just going to close out of that content. Now, again, if you've already done GameCube stuff like I have, you already have a playlist all set up, ready to go. But I really want HD texture packs to work with Rogue Leader. So I'm going to kind of adjust this playlist a little bit. So I'm going to select Rogue Leader. And now I'm going to remove it from the playlist. So do this with all of the games that you're going to do HD texture packs for. Remove them from your playlist. And that goes for GameCube and any Wii stuff that you're not going to be using uh, Wiimotes for. It's so like if you had some virtual console HD texture packs, like you remove, remove any game from here that you're going to be using an HD texture pack for on all your playlists. And once you've done that, go back into import content and go to manual scan. And now just select the content directories for where you are going to be loading up your games from again. So for example, I have my games on USB for GameCube. So I'm going to tell it to scan this directory. System name, I'm going to press right on my D-pad to go down to Nintendo and find uh, GameCube for this example. And for the default core, I'm going to press right to go down to the end section here and find my nightly dolphin underscore lib retro dot DLL that I manually added in. Scan recursively set to on. And leave overwrite existing playlists off. This way it doesn't affect any of your other games. And just add Rogue Squadron back in for my example. So I start the scan. Now when I go in. Hey, look at that. Rogue Squadron's back. And now, since these cores share the same config file. I have load HD texture packs on already. I'm going to tell it to run. And this time when it loads up, look at that! The HD texture packs are taking effect! Star Wars Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2 HD! Look at that! And now I can enjoy Rogue Squadron 2 on my Xbox Series X and S with an HD texture pack installed. And my goodness, I wish this console could actually run this game at full speed 100% of the time. But, I mean, uh, take what I can get. It's an Xbox, and it's still really fun to see. But there we go, like how sweet is this? All right, so just to summarize once again, get those HD texture packs placed into your saves folder. Make sure that the HD texture pack option is turned on within the Dolphin Core. Delete any games from your playlists on GameCube or Wii that you're gonna use HD texture packs with, and then re-add them using the nightly Dolphin Core that we placed earlier. But that's going to do it for this one. As always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. This one's a little bit more involved since we have to use a separate version of the core. And there's just a lot of things that need to be placed. And again, things can go wrong if you don't have the folder structure set right. So do be sure to double check that. But now if you could all do me a huge favor, please be sure to hit that like or dislike button. Just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, hit that sub button so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Lots of content coming your way. Love to have you along for the ride. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you could also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place going so we can bring more content just like this to all of you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. You all are amazing. Thank you so much for believing what we do and showing that support. 
Really helps keep us going. Can't state it enough. Just thank you so much. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, and we will see you back next video.